question. Yes, helmet, go. Do you think, do you think, uh, transsexuality is like a mentally disability? Uh, I'm sorry, do I think transsexuality is what? A mental disability. A mental facility? Like a Disorder, disability, oh, whatever, oh, disability. You know? Um, well, you know, uh, is it a disorder? I, I don't know. Um, I'm that, you know, I, I did study some psychology, uh, but I studied mostly neurology, not so much the behavioral sciences. And so I know that, um, uh, body dysmorphia is a, a behavioral, uh, science condition, uh, which it can range from a bunch of things. It could range from, you know, thinking that you're a woman when you're a man or thinking you're a cat when you're a human, or it could be like, um, like you just think you have too many arms and you just want to cut one off. And there was these two twin brothers, right? And they both had body dysmorphia. And so one brother thought he had too many arms and the other one thought he had not enough. So they, they were twins, right? And so they cut his arm off and they sewed it onto the brother and that made them happy because they, you know, they thought they needed to be like joined together. Um, and you, you can look them up. This is real. Like it's a big, like it was a big controversy because um, the doctors wouldn't do it. And so they went to like these like crazy tattoo guys and they were like, yeah, yeah, we'll do that. That's like just some body mods, you know, that's like some wicked cool body mods. Let's do that. And then like cut the dude's arm off and sewed it onto his brother, like right in the middle of his chest is weird. You should totally check it out. So like that's obviously I would say that's that's definitely uh, you're nuts. Like if you're like cutting your arm off and stuff like that. So, you know, I, I guess it's like a spectrum. So whether it's a disability or not, well, that's kind of up to the individual. Right. So, you know, if if they're going to allow their uh, transgenderisms to hold them back in life then it could be a disability or if they live in a society in which um, it's viewed negatively um, and that the people think that they can't do their job because they're, you know they're not the same gender as the one they were born as then that could be a disability too um, but if you know if they lived in a world where people weren't assholes and didn't give a crap um, then then there would not be a disability so it's really a societal issue as, as to whether it's a disability or not. Um, as for it being a mental uh, disorder, I guess, it's, it, I guess that falls down to is it something that is harmful uh, to you, right? I mean, so, if you cut your dig off, it's kind of harmful. Well, I mean, not all transgenders cut their, cut their dicks off. Some keep yes. them. Yeah, you know. So, I mean, and if you do, they really need it. That's the question because if they're going to live their life as a woman, then is not having a penis going to, um, is that going to, uh, uh, cause them harm, right? It's just not something they, they, they're going to use or, or want or need. Then I guess it would be okay. I mean, right. Cause that's not like, that's not very drastic, right? I mean, it, it might seem drastic to people who want that, like their penis. I like my penis. I would never cut it off. I wouldn't even want to get a, va a vasectomy. Like that's just like too much for me. There we go. Oh, vasectomy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, uh, Ricky D, he he likes the vasectomies. He's got three of them. I, I have another question. Yes, helmet. Are traps gay? Ah, see, I, the, I'm glad you asked that because I saw that video the other day. Oh, and, there, there, there is a female in the room. And um, you know, it's it's really. It's really sad about cynical Brit and all that is passing, um, but uh, but you know I think he could have handled that question better, and I'm glad you asked. So here's the answer, right? Are traps gay? They are if they want to be. That's the answer. If they want to be gay, then they're gay. Uh, if they're not, then then if they don't want to be gay, then they're not gay. I think Rick D has some philosophy to share. Yeah, so so we've gone over the whole 
the whole gender. What's going on? So, well, we're, we were talking about philosophy, and we kind of got side railed into philosophy and stuff, man, and into gender swapping. Um, Ricky D Traps. is going to come up and tell us about his vasectomies, all three of them that he got, because he didn't take the first two times. Ooh, I got four. Uh, I'm going to be my back on Steam. Okay, thank you.